Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the new um, the plugin from the new roots, which is called the stem. Uh, actually, right now this stem this is totally free. It's open public test, beta test. You can go the to the link, link you will find below on this video, and download and install this plugin and try it. Of course, you can send the, some feedback, some ideas, so what they would improve. But this plugin will be paid. Right now it's totally free, so and uh, as my advice, so you should go and download, install, and understand what you, you will get in the future paid plugin. So let's talk about it. And let's start from the end. Uh, as you can see on the right side, we have the new tool, which is called the measurement. And here's the one interesting thing. I'm using right now the Revit 2023 and we are able in this version of the Revit using, uh, for example, the measurement on 3D view. As you can see, I can measure from the one point to the another point and you can see the length of the, your line. I mean, the f between one point and the second point. But uh, actually, the all the plugins from the Deroots, uh, it's not only for the Revit, last Revit, let's say. It's not for the Revit 2023. They develop it for the all of the series. So. Uh, what's going on in, in Revit 2022, let's say. Let me, I will open Revit 2022, as you can see. The same project, everything same. But if I will go to the 3D view, I'm not able to use the 3D, uh, 3D measurement. And here it's most interesting thing, because we, if you will go to, for example, to this team, this team you're still able to use this plugin. And let's try it here in 2022. I will click on this plugin. As you can see, the first thing you can see the new design. Uh, I know this is a small thing, but it's much interesting thing. Now you can switch from the dark to the light one. Uh, and here we find the measurement. Let me, I will click on the measurement, measure, and I will, where is that? I will click the point one, and I will click point 0.2. As you can see right now, I will get the my uh, the dimension the in millimeters, and uh, it's totally it's working totally same as the native one in 2022. As you can see in 2023, I'm sorry, but we get here the much more things. We can here, for example, use the internal origin point, for example, the project base point or survey base point. Uh, by these all three different points, we will get the X, Y, Z from the point one, point two. It's really interesting. But it's not finished yet. Also, we have the here the one more thing. It is select the point. It's really nice because you can, for example, select the point here and you will get the parameters from exactly this point. It's not useful, for example, when you're using, for example, the your families, but if you wanna, for example, check your survey point, or you wanna check your um, the base point, uh, or something else where is the standing, you can use this, uh, this the tool to get the coordinates. Also, the nice thing, I found it's really nice, the select edges. You don't need to use, for example, the first one if you have the straight edge like this. You can just click on that and you will get the measure of this edge. Pretty awesome, one click and here's your dimension. Also, what you can do, you can copy, uh, for example, this data. It just uh, to make it much easiest, don't select it, don't use the uh, control C just click here and the nice things we can export our data uh, coordination to the xls file excel file now why it's awesome because uh, if you have for example the uh, let's say I, I i will do again from the one point to the another point when you get uh, when you get the param uh, so, so much the parameters it uh, will be better if you can uh, save it somewhere, somewhere somewhere by one click so by this way you can save it somewhere else so and this tool working totally same on in 2023. So if you will click on that, uh, you can also the change on the style. 
you can still use these points, two points, and see all the results. It's totally same working on 2023 whenever we have the same tool in Vanilla Revit. But uh, the same tool, it I mean the working uh, as this one. But uh, here we have the more uh, details about the points, about the uh, coordinates, uh, and we can uh, export this all data. So such is pretty awesome. The second tool of the mm, DSTEM is calling the Delete Revision Cloud, and that will spend a lot of the time for that one. I will just uh, try to uh, explain what it is doing. Division Cloud, uh, let's delete, uh, de delete, I mean, the Revision Cloud, what does it mean? Uh, if you are working, for example, uh, with the someone, I mean, the, with the client, with the some uh, contractors, uh, you want to send the file. Of course, as you understand from this block, the manage, you, uh, you should somehow the manage your file. For example, you need to delete all these uh, clouds with your internal the kitchen I mean the, with the comments uh, between uh, you and your uh, colleagues uh, and you don't want to push it outside and showing to client uh, how you're working inside. So you want to just delete by one click. Uh, revision clouds, as you understand, we can have like thousands uh, in projects. Uh, maybe you you can still have, for example, the uh, so old one and you want to delete it because the, maybe client will find it. It's uh, really bad and uh, you don't want to you don't want to do that. So just go to the uh, revision cloud whenever you will be uh, on your project. project uh, this uh, tool will find automatically all revision clouds. Here on the right side, you will see where is this uh, revision clouds and the on the left side, you will see the name of that. So you just can simply select all of them and just remove it. That's it. As you can see, we deleted all the revision clouds. Now, if you will go back again, um, this time to, uh, saying us uh, you don't have any revision clouds in the project. So as simple as that, this uh, tool doing uh, their job. And right now I will show you the much uh, biggest tool in this add-in, in this stem, this stem. It's calling the clear modern model. Uh, so what is doing actually? Uh, actually everything you can do man manually, but when you e when you have all the things in one uh, window, this is much better. We will start from the views. For example, again the situation, you want to uh, send your model to your client, to your s contractors, uh, whenever. Mm, you need to delete, for example, the working view. So you can easily, for example, the select, let's say, renderings because you don't want to show the final renderings to your, uh, for example, the client uh, because you're not finished yet. You can select just the renderings and just click on remove it. A uh, few seconds, five views, gone. So as simple as that. You can delete well, whatever you want. You can go to the schedules. Uh, how do I? You can do delete it because... Uh, uh, you know, wanna see, you know, wanna show that again. Uh, just by click on the few checkbox, you can delete everything. Uh, or you can go more deeply. For example, you can delete some of the 3D view. For example, um, the camel case uh, uh, 3D because this is standard view. You know, wanna save it, delete, delete. That's it. And I will show you the one more thing. As you can see uh, right now, the my um, the browser, the project browser, it's totally same as we have here. The, if you will go to the view, here the view, the floor plans, 3D elevations, we have the same. But in your company, maybe you have the different organizing browser. So how it change here too? Just right click here, browser organization. Uh, let's say you using, for example, type or whenever you're using, for example, type and discipline. Uh, here it's nothing changing. Let's change the, to the another one. Let's say like this, maybe it will be changed. Yes, it's changed. But here it didn't change. You should just close and again open it and you will get the same organizing like in your project. This is just tricky thing. Maybe later on the uh, guys from the DRoots will do something with that. But if you are working with not so big projects, it's not noisy. 
Now we will switch to the uh, sheets. Actually, here will be the same thing. If you are using the one project, the one organizing the project browser, you will be have the same story here. So, and here you can also easily delete whatever, whatever, whenever, whatever you want. For example, I want to delete the plan. Just click on that. Plan is gone. Uh, the view templates the same working. So just click on some uh, some of them and delete. Filters, imports, images, links, even the links, you can delete it here just by few clicks. So uh, actually what what you can do with that thing? Uh, that thing uh, allow you to have all the, uh, let's say the um, some elements which is you should delete on the some point of the your developing uh, in one window. So. Is it um, useful? Yes, I think so, because uh, it's actually not even the version one. I think in the version one, we will get the more and more features. So right now, this is useful thing. Here we are, it's already done. Uh, so what is what category? Uh, curtain wall mullions. Okay, awesome. Now let me, I will go to the 3D view, what I wanna do. What I wanna do, I wanna go to the curtain wall mullions. So here is our curtain wall and here is our mullions. Let me, I will use it, click on that. And as you can see, we get the new parameters. We wasn't have it before and we not only they have the new parameter, we also they have the fill it all this new parameter. As you can see, just one click, we get the all data about the bounding box of this parameter. Let me, I will select another one and you will see uh, just, ha. Huh, um, Give me seconds. Okay, let me select. As you can see, the parameters was changed. How we can understand? I can select two of them, and if you see here the various, it means they have different parameter. So they have different parameter by I think y direction. Yes, y direction, as you can see. Uh, just one click, and we get parameters. So what we can do else? As you can see here, we can see like that. Uh, I will go to this team again. I will use extract again, and again extract curtain wall mullions. What we can do else? For example, we have here the other parameters. For example, family instance, and what we have inside. For example, is it mirrored or no? This is actually working better to the um, doors because. Or is it mirrored or not? It's really important for the doors. Uh, anyway, anyway, let's say we need it. I don't know why, but we need it. So I click on that, map and extract. Uh, new parameter will be called is mirrored. Awesome. Let's extract it. It's already done. And as you can see, it's get it here. The boolean parameter is mirrored. Awesome, working really fast. We can actually the, change the name of the parameter. Mm, for example, mm, not mirror, or just mirror, let's say. I just wanna show you how it's working. Uh, let's click on that. It's already done. And as you can see, the now we get one more parameter. They actually, it's the same parameter, but with the new name. So this is what calling the uh, mapping. We actually already have this parameter, but we should, for example, rewrite this parameter to the new one. This is called the mapping. Uh, and here we all, of course, they can change the type of the parameter because before we was have the, for example, the boolean parameter. It means the yes or no or checkbox, let's say. But now we will get the uh, true or false. As you can see, we get here there is mirrored and other group, and here it will be text. But text parameter we don't, doesn't have anything because actually it's not mirrored. That's why. So by this way you can easily, for example, map your parameters uh, from the one element to the another element by this tool. I think you, some of the people will find it's really useful because as I say, this is a bit specific program. Uh, it's tool not for everyone, but uh, if you're working uh, with the models, if you're working, for example, with the uh, production, it will be useful because you will get the coordinates, you will get the bounding box of, the, for example, your uh, model for the, your panel, let's say, and it's really useful.
That's it, guys. Uh, so try this uh, new plugin, comment it, uh, stay tuned. Maybe they will update it soon and you will get the new features. So uh, I think the DSTEM should be in your library. And just uh, even if you not will use it, it will be support, something like supporting to Zeroots, which is have they. They have really great tools, which has helped us really a long time. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.